What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news. First up, before I get into things, I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas and your holiday. And the first video back from the holiday, we have some pretty big news. Before I give you a rundown on the news, and I'm sure you see it in the thumbnail, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. Now, the main topic in sneaker news is a rumor that the Off-White Air Jordan 1 Canary Yellow is releasing in 2020. I'm going to go over that rumor, where it originated, and what it means for a release, and if there's anything factual about this whole rumor. Other than that, we have a lot more from Jordan Brand and Nike. And without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. It looks like Nike is releasing a special pack as a tribute to Jordan brand and the first pair we have a look at is the Nike Kyrie 6. In a previous video I showcased this pair along with another pair which I'm going to talk about in a minute or so but it appears that inspiration is taken from the Air Jordan 4. Now this pair comes dressed in black, cement gray, university red and white featuring black mesh across the upper while new buck covers the hills red detailing is also seen on the hill inside of the tongue and hinted throughout and then we have a black swoosh which is outlined in white while both gray and red covers the rubber outsole so if you're interested in grabbing this pair they drop on january 16th and the retail price will be 130. The next pair we have a look at part of the pack is the Nike LeBron 17 infrared and this pair is inspired by the Air Jordan 6 infrared. Dressed in black, white, and university red, I actually talked about this shoe pretty recently but we have official images as well as a release date but what you're going to notice is the tongue. LeBron is written in the flight font while 2-3 is done in black and white. They also feature a lace lock, which has his Dunkman logo. Now, for the release date on this pair, they are going to release earlier than the Kyrie 6, which is January 8th. Retail price will be 200 Concepts has officially unveiled their Kyrie 6 collaboration, and like mentioned in the prior video, we knew of one colorway releasing and another one was rumored. Turns out that is the case. The first pair which comes in pink tint is known as Capri. I believe I'm pronouncing that right and if I'm not, I do apologize. And the second is known as Golden Mummy. That is a grade school exclusive. An Egyptian solar deity represented by the scarab beetle, Kipri, the god of creation, is associated with resurrection. Explicity known for rolling the sun above the horizon each morning and carrying it through the other world after sunset. The word Capri also means to transform, a fitting truth for Irving's continual development. The color tones of the shoe, pink and blue, match the morning sun against the desert sand. The colors of the sole are molded after one of the most expensive scarab beetle ever sold. Now, for those that don't know, that was a brief reading from Concepts press release. Now, moving on to the kids' exclusive Concepts Kyrie 6 Golden Mummy. The cycle of history manifests in a colorway that simultaneously pays homage to Concepts founding in 1996 and the discovery of the Valley of Mummies, an event that spurred a rival of interest in Egyptian history that same year. Metallic gold finishes reference the riches within the tombs, while a series of hieroglyphs remind how much more there is to be written as the future unfolds. The Kyrie 6 Capri releases at Concepts on December 27th, which is today, as well as the Golden Mummy. Following a global release will take place on January 10th. For both pairs, you'll be able to grab them at Nike Sneakers. I'm not sure as far as other retailers, but if I do learn of any before the release date, I definitely will make sure to let you guys know. And retail price is 140 and 110 Last year, around this time, we've seen probably five or six colorways of the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 and Pro that would release in the following year. So this year, going into 2020, we may have seen two to three. One of them, which was recently showcased, is the Lava Edition. And now we have a look at another pair, which is the Nike Air Foam Posit Pro. It doesn't have an official nickname as of yet, but they come dressed in white, 
black and university red. Now, I'm not sure if Nike's keeping the foam posit under wraps more or if they're slowing down on the releases. But taking a closer look, they feature a white foam posit shell while the swoosh across the panels comes in the same shade. Black leather runs across the eye stays and wraps the heel, while red is seen on the branding by the toe on the tongue and heel. Finishing the look is a white rubber outsole. At the time of shooting this video, a release date is set for March 5th. As you guys know, that's a while away, so anything can happen. The release could get pushed forward or back, and in the case that it does, I'll make sure to let you guys know. And the retail price for this pair is 230 a couple weeks back, I leaked that the Nike LeBron 7 All-Star would return in 2020. Now, around that time, I actually was shown three upcoming colorways, the product number and when they were expected to release, not a specific date by any means, but more of a time frame. One of those pairs on that list, besides the All-Star, is the Nike LeBron 7 China Moon. Now, the third colorway on the list, I haven't been able to pinpoint to which release it is, so that's why it's taking a bit longer than I expected to leaked that pair but for those that don't know this is an og colorway that was a china exclusive the first time when they released they were also available at house of hoops during october of 2009 lebron james also wore this pair on christmas day during the second half when the lakers took on the clippers Going over the shoes, they feature a semi-translucent upper while white leather lands on the overlays. We also have metallic gold on the mud guards, outlining the swoosh and used on the hardware. Finishing the look is Chinese characters on the medial side by the hill. Now for those that want to grab this pair, they drop on January 2nd. Retail price is 200. Also, I was told that this pair is a quick strike and I believe they won't be available just anywhere. However, Nike sneakers will have them. Moving on to Jordan brand, and we have a first look at the Air Jordan 34 SE. Now, SE, I believe, like in most cases, it stands for Special Edition. And as you can see, there's a few big differences on the SC version compared to the traditional Air Jordan 34. First up is that we have a zipper that runs across the sides and overlaying the tongue is quilted leather. Now we only have one image and it comes dressed in black, red, and white. So pretty much your standard Chicago theme. Although the addition of a zipper could be used for lockdown or containment, I believe that the whole look is more for lifestyle or to wear off the court. I'm sure they handle well on the court as well, but as far as release info on this pair, all we know is that they're expected to release sometime during 2020. More than likely, there'll be a few additional colorways as well, but let me know in the comment section your thoughts on this pair in comparison to the standard Air Jordan 34. On Christmas Day, Michigan unveiled their Air Jordan 1 PE, and sadly, this won't be releasing. But I thought it was a dope colorway and for fans of Michigan probably want to see what this looks like. Talk about it briefly. They do come in the standard Michigan colors and they take on a premium theme. Where it's blue, it features crocodile print and then where it's yellow running across the swoosh around the hill and the ankle overlay, we have what appears to be sweat beads or water drops. I'm not entirely sure. Initially, when I saw this, I instantly thought it was sweat beads. But other than that, we have white on the panels and midsole while yellow also lands on the toe and rubber outsole. So they only unveiled one photo. I'm sure we'll get a better look later on in the week or even next week. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below if Jordan Brand should release this shoe or keep it an exclusive to Michigan. I know there's probably not a lot of people excited about the return of this pair, but I can't be the only one happy to see it arrive at retailers. For a while, I was trying to search for the OG pair, but it's hard to find in my size. Now, for those that don't know what we're looking at, it's actually Jordan Brand's first women's Air Jordans that originally released during the late 90s. I believe it was 97, possibly 98 around that time. And the shoe is actually known, or it was said on the original box label, Air Jordan Women's. As you can see, it takes elements from the Air Jordan 13. This colorway, which comes dressed in white, university red, and black, 
is an original colorway. Also, there is a few small differences with this pair compared to the OG. We have mainly white throughout, black lands on the liner as well as the panels and extends onto the midsole, and then we have red on the Jumpman branding. Instead of using metallic silver on the embroidered W on the hill, it'll actually release in black. We also have a visible carbon fiber plate used in the midfoot. Usually when Jordan Brand brings back a team model, they don't have a release date, but in the case for this pair, they will release on January 16th. We don't have a retail price as of yet for this shoe, and as of now, the January releases are a bit slim, and off the bat, I probably would want to buy this right when it comes out, but I'm going to be smart about this and knowing that eventually they'll go on sale. So that's just a heads up if anybody's interested. It's been a while since we've seen new images of the Air Jordan 4 being called OVO Splatter by Drake. Now, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, this theme right here is actually an original sample. It never made the cut. As you can see, it has this splatter confetti almost looking print across part of the midsole. In 2018, we got a first look at this pair at that time, we didn't know that it was actually in collaboration with Drake, but with additional images, it showed off some detailing like the OVO owl on the inside of the hill tab. As well, when you remove the insoles, you could see additional OVO branding. Also, when the images first leaked in 2018, this pair was believed to release during February of this year, and it was also rumored to be a women's exclusive release. Now, we're almost in 2020, and this release didn't happen. And out of nowhere, we have new images, which you may have seen if you've been on Instagram or visited Sneaker Files or any other new site. The person that took these images usually gets shoes pretty early but I personally would like to see the size tag before I make any assumption because that would let me know a lot more as well as everybody else and I'm just saying that because I've seen on Instagram a lot of people saying oh it's a rumor 2020 release when that's far from the truth now I'm not saying these are going to release or they're not I honestly don't know but I haven't heard anything whatsoever now if Jordan brand does decide to release this pair I definitely will make sure to let you guys know. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think they should drop them? I personally think they should, but I don't want Drake's name attached to it. Nothing against Drake, but I feel since this is an original sample from 1989, it also features Nike Air branding. New images of the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Game Royal has arrived. Now, there really isn't much information. I just wanted to share these new images because it gives us a really good look at them but what I've noticed is I don't know if it's just me or not but the shoe looks bulky also they come dressed in black white and game royal initially people thought this was going to be a true royal toe release it turns out it's a bit different than that personally I'm a fan of the shoe but by no means this is a must-have for me one thing I'm not a huge fan of is the leather tongue label that's also seen on the 2020 court purple release but that isn't something that would make or break me buying this shoe now keeping this part short since we don't really have anything new a release is currently scheduled for may 9th now like i mentioned prior release dates could change when it's so far in advance they could be pushed forward or back and the retail price will be 170. additional photos of the air jordan 3 se red cement has arrived prior to this the images were a bit grainy as well this provides a few different angles now i'm gonna be honest at first i wasn't feeling this pair whatsoever they've kind of grown on me not entirely but this also appears to be the release that we're getting during all-star weekend initially when a photoshop went out it somewhat resembled dj khaled's pair which seemed like a lot of people were excited for that pair and this pair definitely has mixed feelings as far as what i've seen also, they come with three sets of laces, which we can see. They feature black, red, and white. We have red tumbled leather across the upper, perforations on the toe, as well as the eyelets. Elephant print wraps the toe and heel. And then, of course, we have Nike Air branding on the heel. Also, it appears that they're going to come with a new box. I'll have that shown as well. Most of it is red. We have a black Jumpman and then elephant print on part of the lid. Definitely would like to see more angles of that. Moving forward, the release date as of now is expected to be February 15th, which is during 
All-Star Weekend, and the retail price will be 200. The Off-White Air Jordan 1 Canary Yellow is rumored to release during 2020. Now, I have to stress rumor, and I'm going to go over how this rumor started, which will make sense. But just to give you a bit of background, this pair was first seen at Virgil's Figures of Speech event, which took place at Chicago's Museum of Contemporary Art. Initially, we heard a rumor that they were going to release on Black Friday. I didn't report on that rumor because I knew that was not true. The reason that rumor started is because Virgil created a site, I believe it was called Canary Yellow. So some people thought that meant they were going to release this Air Jordan 1. Fast forward to yesterday, and in one of these images, you're going to notice a black zip tie. On that black zip tie, it says Off-White CO Nike 2020 zip tie. After that surfaced, you saw publications like Hype Beast and High Snobiety run with the story that they were rumored to release, which they did a great job instead of saying they were releasing, it's rumored, but that set pretty much the wildfire from there. To even further the rumors, a few days ago I believe, skater Eric Artaga, now I apologize if I mispronounced the last name, please don't slaughter me in the comments, he posted a video of him wearing the shoes while skating. With all this, the most interesting piece of news here is the zip tie. And I doubt that they would feature a zip tie that said 2020. It would probably be 2019 or 2018 if they were produced in late 2018. But at this time, who knows? Also, I almost forgot to mention, this is actually a huge piece. Now on Instagram, there's a page called Supreme Leaks News. They posted the off-white Air Jordan 1 Canary Yellow is rumored to release 2020. Virgil went on and commented with some emojis, one of them being the yellow warning sign, another being sparkles, and then a registered trademark. He could have easily shut down the rumors right then and there, which many have done who have a collaboration with Jordan Brand that isn't releasing. And although that's a good sign as far as a future release goes, again, that doesn't confirm anything. But at the very least, I did think it was interesting and yet a positive step for those that want to get them. One thing I'm going to say, once again, this is a rumor, and I'll actually start believing this rumor. I'm not doubting it, but as everybody knows, a ton of rumors on releases get spread every day. So you kind of have to do your research and use some sort of common knowledge, at least from a reporting standpoint, to know what's true and what's fake news. Currently, there are people looking for a style code to pop up, or at least it hit into the system, but nothing has been found at the time of the shooting. But hopefully, we can expect more information soon, even if it's a confirmation that they're not going to release. Other than that, there isn't any more information. There isn't even a release time frame, retail price, nothing like that. But once more information is available, I'll definitely make sure to let you guys know. But make sure to leave a comment below, let me know if Jordan Brand and Off-White should release this pair. And that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. Like always, thanks for watching this video. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully there was something in this video that you liked. If you did, leave it in the comments below or even if you disliked something. As far as next week goes, more than likely I'm going to take the 31st and the first off just because it's New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. I'm sure everybody will be celebrating the night before. So just a heads up on that, I believe I should have at least one more upload before then. Now before I get out of here, greatly appreciate a thumbs up if you haven't done so already. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the red button below. I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.